Welcome back, GMS. I'm Griffin. And I'm AJ. Welcome to GMS News Show of the Week of November 28th, 2022. The GMS canned food drive is underway. Make sure to bring some canned foods in and turn them in to your pride teacher. Alice Frozen Yogurt will be coming back on Tuesday, November 29th. Remember to bring $5 to get it. Information was best out. Commencing the eighth grade trip to Washington DC by the by the social study teachers. The deadline to register for the trip is Friday, January thirteenth. A fifty dollar non refundable deposit is required by the date to reserve a spot on the trip. If you have any other questions about your about the trip, you can contact contact Mr. Ellington or Miss Reinhardt. It is time to start planning for your freshman year at GHS. On Wednesday, D December 7th, Greenwood High School will be hosting the Women Expo. There will be a class of 2027 20, parents slash student meeting at the auditorium at 5.30 p.m. Please take advantage of this opportunity about the high school and meet the staff on December 7th, 7th at 5.30 p.m. Last day of se the last day of second nine weeks is Wednesday, December twenty first. Winter break begins on Thursday, December twenty second. Have a good week, GMS. Now let's get to top trending. Welcome to Top Journey, where we share the top and weird stories of the week. I'm Grant. Let's get started. According to the Time of Kids, on October twenty seventh, Elon Musk bought Twitter. He also owns the car company Tesla and SpaceX. He bought all shares of Twitter. In his address on the issue, he said Twitter cannot be a free fall. He paid $44 billion for Twitter. Next, according to NPR Strange News, the National Park Service wants humans to stop looking at a desert to In spite of the warning, some people have discovered that there are segregations, including a powerful heliogenic Called hallucinogenic. hallucinogenic called 5 me o dementi make, it makes humans sick. The toad is 7 inches in size and carries a weak, low pitch sound like a rabbit. It's a very harmless creature. They're frightened in New Mexico because people use it for drugs. A lot of people have spoken about g good uses, including boxing legend Mike Tyson, Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden. That's all for Top Trending. Hello, I'm Cameron. Welcome to this week's Home Events for Sports. Tuesday, November 29th, 2022, Senate 7th grade boys basketball versus Center Grove Central, starting at 5 p.m. at GMS. Friday, December 1st, 2022, 7th grade boys basketball versus Plainfield Community, starting at 5.30 at GMS. That's all for this week's sports. Hello, my name is Lillian and welcome to our 60 second book review. Today we're reviewing the book Efren Divided. Efren Divided was written by Ernesto Cisneros. Here's a summary of the book. When his mother is suddenly deported to Mexico, seventh grader Efren Nava must take charge of his younger siblings while keeping up with his schoolwork and chores. He hopes that in doing so, the money his father earns at a second job will be enough to bring his mother home. Here are the cons of the book. Ephraim Divided isn't really a happy book. It isn't necessarily like a bad thing, but it wasn't what I expected when I was reading it. And some parts can be lighthearted, but there are also a lot of parts where I wanted to cry. The hook is not very gripping in my opinion. I didn't want to read this book at the very beginning, but once you get into it, it's really good. The ending isn't all that satisfying. After the whole book, I kind of felt let down by it. Here are the pros. Um, when you get into the middle of the book, it is very hard to put down. You feel like you're in the story because of how well the author describes the setting and everything. And all the characters are very deep stories that are filled for all of them. Overall, I recommend that you read Ephraim Divided if you want to have a good cry. This book is in the IMC in the very front YHBC section. Welcome to GMS Roll Call. 
today we're asking students, what was your favorite food you ate during Thanksgiving break? Okay, so I like turkey. Mashed potatoes. Turkey. My favorite Thanksgiving food is called party potatoes. They are mashed potatoes that include a whole stick of cream cheese, an entire tub of sour cream, and a whole lot of garlic, and a whole lot of love. Cranberry jelly. Uh, macaroni is my favorite Thanksgiving food. Uh, my favorite Thanksgiving food, probably, um, probably ham. My favorite Thanksgiving food is biscuits and gravy. Macaroni casserole. Um, probably, uh, mashed potatoes. My favorite Thanksgiving dish is cheesy mashed potatoes. Pie.